BrinTech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is replacing the classic Outlook with the new Outlook for Windows, as I have posted. And as I mentioned in a video that I posted a couple of days ago, um, according to the Microsoft 365 roadmap, Outlook for Windows, that's the new Outlook for Windows, and the Outlook on the web, will soon get organized in reorder folders, new options to copy email items, and new context menu experiences. So there's a lot going on with the menu options available uh, in the new Outlook for Windows, which we are expecting to see roll out soon. Now, I'll leave that video down below if you would like to play catch up and would be interested and find yourself using the new Outlook. But just to let you know that another small, yet I think a significant update is going to be rolling out in March as well for the new Outlook, where Microsoft says that um, users can drag and drop attachments and emails from the new Outlook for Windows to their desktops or local folders to download them directly to that location. So as many of you may know currently uh, in the new Outlook for Windows, um, if you open up an email, and I've just got a test email here with an attachment just for today's video, you cannot drag and drop that to your desktop. Or as another example, if we head to our file explorer, we just go to downloads and uh, we see we cannot drag and drop and download that to our local drive, be it file explorer or the desktop. Now, as mentioned, this could be all set to change. And according to that um, 365 roadmap, Microsoft says drag and drop to download attachments and emails in the new Outlook for Windows will be rolling out for the desktop version. So that's the new Outlook starting March 2024. And I think this is a small yet, I think, a significant update, especially if you do find yourself um, using the new Outlook as your default email client. And just a bit of basic functionality that I think Microsoft is trying to bring back to the new Outlook for Windows, because obviously there's been a lot of debate kind of regarding the new Outlook because it is really in effect a desktop PWA, progressive web app. So obviously Microsoft trying to improve little areas where they can and I think that little move would be a nice step in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.